guys Nigeria is bad Nigeria is bad like I have so much to tell you guys like my my heart is beating fast I'm my voice is shaking, I'm nervous, I... Nigerians, Nigerians are... <clears throat> Nigerians are special people, beautiful people, like... Anywhere in the world that you go that you see Nigerians, you just, you just know, Nigerians are special people, hardworking, industrial, clever street smart funny loud happy loving but nigeria is bad and because and because we are strong because we are clever people because we are because we're special people we we don't realize how bad our country is because we are able to make do with what we have we're able to we're able to manage and now for for years for decades we have not seen how bad nigeria has gotten because we're not out on the streets protesting for basic needs right now i hope eventually we will i hope eventually we will get to all of that i hope we will not get tired and we will continue to fight the good fight but right now we're not out on the streets asking for light or electricity <laughs> we're not out on the streets asking for water we're not And these are basic needs we're used to not having basic needs so right now we're not fighting for those things we're not even fighting for health health care working adequate health care I'm not gonna lie to you like I definitely I'm blessed I feel like I'm blessed that and a lot of people might feel this way again I'm saying this I'm, I, I'm I, I'm nervous, I want to talk to you guys, but I'm saying this and don't take it out of context. A lot of people, a lot of privileged people feel that these things don't concern them because they have dual citizenship. They have visas, so last, last, pata, pata, if anything happens, eh, they will jump on the plane and run. But God forbid, God forbid that you get into an accident. You get into a car accident and innocent bystanders come, they rush, they help, they pull you out of the car. And the next five minutes will determine whether you live or die. Guess what? Your dual citizenship will not save you then. Your visas to London or America or wherever will not save you then. Your private plane, your private jet will not save you then. Your millions and trillions of money in your account will not save you then. What will save you then is basic needs. Healthcare. Ambulance that they can call and will rush to the scene and save you and this is something everybody in nigeria needs not just the elite this isn't a luxury this is basic needs so the elite might think this doesn't really concern me because i can jump on a flight i can <laughs> if anything happens 
<clears throat> every time I want to go for my regular checkup, I'll get on my flight, I'll go to London. If I want to go and see a dentist, I'll get on a flight, I'll go to, you know, Turkey, whatever. But when you're in the situation that I just described, you don't have that time. So guess what? It affects all of us, even the rich, even the famous, all of us, even government. It affects all of us. The people that look after your kids, the your drivers, the people that drive you every day, they don't have that. They need basic needs. We all need basic needs. Education. Should we talk about that? Schools, universities are perpetually on strikes. In 2020. <laughs> roads infrastructure just i think maybe a, a year or two ago a building collapsed and had like a primary school and i actually i went to the hospital where they you know they took some of the survivors <sighs> These buildings in Lagos Island have not been renovated for decades. <clears throat> and you have primary schools there with kids. <laughs> and then you take them to a hospital that is, they're not even equipped to handle it. I walked into that hospital and the smell. They were giving these kids bread and Fanta to eat. So, Nigeria is bad. Because we're not even now on the streets protesting for light, water, healthcare, education, infrastructure, now because we're so used to not having that now what we're asking for is to stay alive ah we're now asking that please okay you haven't given us all of those things our leaders have not been able to give us those things now we're on the street asking to stay alive to stay alive and they still want to stop that they still want to stop that nigeria is bad i get it Leaders are corrupt. They're corrupt everywhere in the world. There's corruption everywhere in the world. Everywhere. Take and give back. Give back. There's blood on your hands. Give back. Nigeria is the probably the strongest black nation in the world. And myself and you know people that I know, you know, they lent their voices to you know Black Lives Matter. I remember like the whole world. We lent our voices, we lent our support, even if we didn't go out to protest, we used our social media, we used our platform our black lives matter and at this point it's bigger than just what we can do ourselves in Nigeria we need support we need support it's gone on for years we need support like 
I was involved recently in a project that I was so proud of. Like, as an artist, I was so, so proud to be called and to be amongst the few people that were involved in this project. It's called Black is King, um, the gift album. <clears throat> so I'm going to say this, please do not quote me out of context, but I want to use my platform right now to call Beyonce and the whole team that reached out to a lot of Nigerians, Nigerian artists, Nigerian producers, Nigerian video directors, dancers, creatives. I'm calling on Beyonce and her team the same way they use their platform and so grateful for that the same way they use their platform to elevate and to show the world that black is king and how beautiful Afrobeat and Africa and our culture is I want them to please use their voice and their platform right now because this same country that birthed this genre is on fire right now now it is on fire where these creatives are from is on fire so i'm calling on beyonce and the whole team and i'm telling you you cannot ignore this you cannot be quiet because we all celebrated the blackest king <laughs> I personally was so proud to be part of that project but please you cannot be quiet on this you cannot <sighs> I know people are gonna hate me I know I'm gonna get backlash from this I know I know there's even a possibility that I might get I don't know blacklisted or whatever but if I'm saying that I'm an Afrobeat artist and we all know that this whole genre and all of my colleagues all know that <laughs> this came from Afrobeat, which was birthed by Felakuti, then we also know what he stood for. And we have to stand for the same thing because nothing has changed, nothing. So please, also, all the DSPs, thank you so, so much. You know, Spotify, Apple, Amazon, Deezer, SoundCloud, you know, all these amazing platforms that have supported Afrobeat music and, you know, Afrobeat artists, all of us that have given us a platform and have, have elevated our genre of music to people who would not necessarily listen to our music. I'm calling you guys out now. I'm saying, please use your platform use your voice because there might be someone's out there who hasn't heard of what's going on in nigeria but they will through your platform please please we need you we need your help we need your support I even think this is even deeper than bad leadership. <laughs> I feel like this. Some people who are benefiting from seeing, from seeing us fight. I don't think it's a coincidence that there's police brutality in the states, where you know people of color are being killed by the police, and then back home, police are killing our brothers and sisters. It's not a coincidence, like, but that's talk for another day like if you know you know i just don't want them to frustrate us we have this opportunity i don't want them to frustrate us and you know we will do this for a couple of days and then it's back to normal 
And I feel like that's what they want. That's what they want. Like, individuals are donating money. They're donating water, food. But how long can we do that for? Like, how long? We need bigger support outside of Nigeria. Like, Nike. Like, different companies that have, you know supported us with our nigerian jerseys in the past like we need we need you guys we need artists from everywhere everywhere around the world like and just huge shout out to all the artists that have like used their platform already like i see trey songs cardi b drake lil baby like i i, I see a few of you guys like that have linked your voices but that's not enough like we need more we need more we need more of you guys Like, yeah, I just, like, I'm just really heartbroken, guys. I'm sorry. I don't even know if I'm going to regret doing this, but. How can you help? How, how, can, how can we help? Um, I wrote a few things down because I don't want to, I don't want to forget, like. Um. Right now, there's a five for five. We need to put pressure on the government. And also, let me just put this. There's no leader in this. Everyone is in this together. Nobody should come and claim anything or clout chase or use this to <clears throat> claim, I don't know, whatever it is. There's no leader in this. We are all in this together. It in, it's, it's not just something that's affecting the youth. It's affecting everybody. Um, we need donations. People are out there without masks, without hand sanitizers. Corona is still real. We, we still need to be safe. We need people to donate. And thank you to the companies that are already doing it. GT Bank. I, I've seen that you guys are donating. Pepsi. I am so proud, so happy to be an ambassador of this brand because I see you donating water. Thank you. We need artists to call out co companies that they, they are ambassadors to to come out and help. People who can, see, they're not going to win this time. They're not going to win. We're going to show them that we can protest peacefully and with love. I would love to see us even get companies that can paint and rebuild, you know, army barracks, police barracks, you know, renovate those places, like donate uniforms, body cams for, for police officers to put on their body. Like there's, there's a lot of work and if the government are not helping or they're not being fast we can do this ourselves we can get private companies um fc fmcg brands please donate food drinks we need international press to keep talking about this we need cnn Sahara reports, E, MTV, Trace, everybody, like. We're tired. We're tired of injustice. We're tired of not even having the basic things, guys. We don't have the basic things. And, and they call us the giants of Africa. And we have nothing to show. Nothing. The giants of Africa. And we have nothing to show. We celebrated 60 years. 60. And we have nothing to show. Ah, Lumi. Ah, Lumi don't have light my mom says this thing she says we're gonna get there this time around we're gonna get there <laughs> we're going to get there it might not be easy and no more no more death no more bloodshed these these bad leaders these politicians they already have blood on their hands no one else needs to die for this because so many people have died already.
no one else needs to die for this but we will still achieve a better nigeria we will